Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we have a simple yet comprehensive guide on reading chest x-rays. Today we will discuss important points which can help you in clinical practice as well as in exams. And in the future there will be more videos on x-rays, ultrasound, CT and MRI. First point is to check for patient's first name, middle name, last name, age and date of x-ray scan. This is a very very important point. Make sure you do not confuse or mix one patient's x-ray scan with another patient's as this can lead to completely wrong diagnosis of a patient and can have dire consequences. The next point is to check which view is taken, whether it is PA, AP, supine or prone and also check for the orientation. Determine which side is the right and which side is the left side. Visualization of nine pairs of ribs posteriorly tells us that the x-ray scan has been taken properly and there is proper inspiration by the patient. To make sure that there is no rotation, you can check the medial aspect of each clavicle which should have equal distance from the spinous process of the vertebra at the same level. Also checking for the vertical orientation of the spinous process against the vertebra also helps in checking for rotation. If you receive a PA view or an AP view and there is no label indicating which view is taken then you can assume that it is a PA view because a PA view is more commonly used. Also in a PA view, the scapulae are not seen within the chest. They are seen outside the chest. To check for proper exposure and penetration, the thoracic vertebrae should be seen behind the heart. Both the costophrenic angles and the lung apices should be checked as many pathologies may be present here. Always compare any normal or abnormal appearance on one side with the opposite side at the same level. For example, if you find a pathology on the apical region of the left lung, you can compare it with the apical region of the right lung. The trachea must be centrally located and if it is slightly deviated to the right side that is normal. And if there is any significant deviation it may be a sign of paratracheal mass or lymphadenopathy. The carina and the bronchi should be clearly seen. The right main bronchus is wider, shorter and steeper than the left main bronchus. So an inhaled foreign body is more likely to be found in the right main bronchus. The left hilum of lung is slightly higher than the right hilum. And both the left and right hilum have similar sizes. If there is any difference in size, this may be a sign of a pathology. The normal hilar lymph nodes will not be visible. You can divide the lung into three arbitrary zones. This does not correspond to the actual lung lobes. You can divide them into upper, middle and lower zones. And you can compare each lung zone. For example, we can compare the left middle zone with the right middle zone. In this way, we can check for any asymmetry. Increased shadowing, which are bright areas in a lung field, indicate a pathology. The normal pleura is not seen on x-ray. 
the lung markings should be seen extending all the way to the edge of the lung and any absence of these lung markings may indicate a pneumothorax fluid accumulation in the pleural space will appear as a bright area in a pa view the heart must occupy 50% of the chest width and the cardiothoracic ratio must be less than or equal to 0.5 the heart borders must be well defined the right atrium forms the majority of the right heart border and the left ventricle forms the majority of the left heart border if the right heart border is poorly defined it may be due to right middle lobe consolidation of the lung if the left heart border is poorly defined it could be due to lingular consolidation the right hemidiaphragm is higher than the left hemidiaphragm because of the liver here below the diaphragm may be a sign of pneumoperitoneum which will appear as a radiolucent area that is a darker area below the diaphragm the costophrenic angles should be visualized properly and must have acute angles loss of costophrenic acute angle may be a sign of fluid accumulation or consolidation the aortic knuckle or aortic knob appears as a lateral bulge above the left main bronchus you must check all the bones on the chest x-ray for any fracture tubes such as ng tubes and cables such as ecg cables will appear radio opaque that is they will appear bright the artificial heart valves will also appear bright they will appear as radio opaque rings and finally the gastric bubble which will appear as a dark area below the left hemidiaphragm a radiolucent area below the left hemidiaphragm it represents the fundus of the stomach thank you so much for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos